one of the main reasons that we all are giving our kids phones now in at age nine or ten is now very common. Um, it gets gets younger all the time. Is because the kid comes home and says, "Mom, everyone else has an iPhone. I have to have an iPhone. I'm being left out." Um, so this is a collective action problem because anyone who does the right thing and says, "No, you're not going to get one until you're mostly done with puberty," they're imposing a cost on their child. All over the developed world now. Family life has devolved into a struggle over screen time and phones, um, and this is terrible. And so, the trick is to realize we're in this problem because everybody else is in this problem, and the kids have to be on, even though they recognize it's bad for them, because everyone else is on. So that's what got us so deep into this, but it's also what gets us out. It's very hard to get out by yourself. Although many people are strong, you know, many parents do. They just lay down the law. They say, "No, you're not getting what. I don't care if you're cut off." Um, my hope is that we won't have to do that anymore. My hope and my plan and, and what I'm trying to do with the book is to say, just if we team up, just team up with a few other families, contact the families of your kids' friends, talk to the parents, they probably share your concerns. Um, if, a, if a small group of parents or if a whole school or school district does this, then they escape. We can change this very, very quickly.